Good evening, YouTubers. Well, I can remember many, many years ago um, when I was a boy, my father was a commanding officer in charge of the air cadets at RAF. Um, no, it wasn't an RAF base, it was Speak Airport, Liverpool Airport. And I remember in the NCO's mess, they had this rifle on the wall. It was a Martini Henry. We all thought it was a Winchester because it had a lever underneath and you could do this bang. But it wasn't. It was a single shot. It was straight out of the Zulu War. And it was literally hanging on the wall and everyone used to play with it. All the, um, the cadets, they were all kids, weren't they, in the teenagers. And, but when they got promoted to be an NCO, they got to use this room and this rifle was up there. And uh, it reminds me a lot. Of Fiona's um, 1887, because as you know, this this I, I don't know why they 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 produced this version of it. Uh, one thing I find disappointing with it is they cut the trigger guard off. I'm sure there's a reason for that. I don't know why, but when I look at it, I think no, that's really bad, isn't it? I mean. The other thing they've done is they've they've sawn the hammer hammer off. You can still cock it, but there should be a hammer there. And um, as I said, there should be a butt which has been sawn off. But most importantly, there's a barrel that's been sawn off. Now, the magazine tube is underneath the barrel, so the longer the barrel is, the longer the magazine tube is, the more shots you can get in it. Now, um, I can't really see any need for a sawed-off shotgun unless you're, you're a bank robber or someone who needs to hide something like a shotgun in a, in a coat or something like that. I mean, it's definitely a criminal's gun. I mean, in the old days when they were robbing stagecoaches, people used to ride shotgun on the, um, on the stagecoach and they used to have shotguns, proper shotguns. And I guess someone decided one day to start cutting the barrel down. And the problem with cutting the barrel down on a shotgun is you reduce the range of the shotgun dramatically. But what you also do at the same time is you increase the spread of the shot. The spread, the shot will increase a lot quicker at shorter range. So you're making it a very, very short range weapon as opposed to a, a longer range. You, you couldn't go clay pigeon shooting with a sawn off. You know, you, you could, but you, you wouldn't hit much. Whereas if you're shooting at people at close range, you know, you're not gonna miss. So, anyway, getting back to the Martini Henry that was hanging on the wall. This particular model of Airsoft 1887, um, which I've been playing with for a few weeks now, and uh, just just getting getting to grips with it. I did notice that it is quite fiddly to load, but once it's loaded, now for example, it's got it's got two shells in the in the in the magazine. It's got one up the breech. Okay, it's it's empty. It, there's no balls in it, and uh, there's no gas in it either. So just thought I'd clear that up before we start. So it was quite effective because it's a sawn off shotgun that fires three shots instead of two with a double barrel shotgun. The problem is when you come to reload it. Because I, I used to have a shotgun and I used to have a bandolier and we'd have a load of 12 bore cartridges in it. And uh, when you come to reload this, that's where the problem comes. Obviously carrying it, you can have it with the... Um, the hammer down, I'll show you that, you can cock the hammer, but you don't want to carry it with the hammer, do you, cocked, because that could go off, so you can you can relax the pressure on the hammer, so it's, 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 not, it's not going to go off. Now to re-cock it, to fire it, you know, you think some, some robbers are coming to rob your stagecoach, you can just pull it back, obviously, and it's ready to go, or you could... Try sliding it back a bit, but then you risk 
that thing getting stuck and then the next one wanting to jump up and jam it so mm, it's not so good okay and like I said it's quite fiddly it's quite fiddly so I'm gonna push that back in and I'm gonna show you the firing sequence of it which is actually quite good I can't fault it it's really good okay so bang 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 and then you're empty. Okay, but then you've got to come... I've got to pick these cartridges up off the floor. <laughs> and when we want to reload, this is where the issue, this is where the issue comes in. I've got to go and... Let's roll under the coffee table. Ah, nice. Sorry about that. Okay, so we've got the three shells here. Now, it takes so long to fiddle about to get the two in the bottom and then the one in the top that we're coming back to our Martini Henry because the Martini Henry was a single shot and it had like a finger on the side to show you whether it was cocked or had been fired the finger would move straight out of the Zulu war with Michael Caine you know and uh, the other fella so if you were firing this and you were in a bit of a situation you'd be far better off and quicker just firing it like a Martini Henry but then you'd have to pick up your next shell put it in fire it and then get your next shell put it in and fire it because that's how the Martini Henry worked and of course the Henry rifle must have had something to do with Henry mustn't it <laughs> Martini and Henry must have uh, been working on the mechanisms, I'm sure. But this particular one, it's a pain, it's a pain. Look how slow it is. Okay, to reload, I'm gonna do this. And show you. Are you trying to do this in a hurry? Okay, that's in. Just hang on, stop shooting at me guys, okay? I'll be ready in a minute. There you go. I think it'd be much quicker just to, sh to fire a single shot and just keep putting another, another cartridge in. Although it is quick and it has got three as opposed to two shots. But, you know, it's an awkward thing. It's an awkward thing. And the biggest thing that puts me off about it, like I say, is the trigger guard. I'd like it to have a butt and a longer barrel and a longer tube. I mean, it, it could, but it could at least go two more shells in the in the magazine would make all the difference. But then the bar magazine would be not much longer, really, and the barrel wouldn't be that great deal. But I mean, does it make all the difference? I suppose it does for concealment, keeping it under your thing. I don't know. It's a great toy to play with, for sure. Love it. Great fun. As long as you don't want to shoot it in a hurry. Don't do any airsoft. Don't do any airsoft battles with it. <laughs>